Friends, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. And if you're new, a special, special welcome to you. Guys, if you're currently facing issues with your computer, having slow performance, or your computer is simply lagging, make your computer faster series that I've prepared specifically for you guys. And guys, if you're new to the channel, special welcome to you. And for those who are currently a part of this channel, welcome back to Drew Tutorial. I'm Andrew. And this is the first release, our first episode of a multi-part series that I've prepared showing you how to make your computer faster or how to boost your computer performance on Windows PC. So we will start with our four important yet basic actions that you must take on a Windows PC in order to boost its performance. And let's get back to basic here, guys. Now, if you're currently having issues with your computer and you're realizing that it's logging, the first thing that you want to do is to restart your computer. I know this is basic stuff and you will say, I restart my computer, but I know that most times people who are using their computer on a daily basis, sometimes they have files open, sometimes they have websites open and they know that they're gonna go back to using the computer the next day or in a couple of hours. It becomes a practice that you don't restart or turn off your computer and you realize that your computer has been running for days and days and days without shutting it down or even restarting it. So restarting your computer or turn off your computer fully is one of the best things that you can do to improve the performance of your computer. Now, the next thing that you want to do is to ensure that you disable unnecessary startup applications. And how do you find that? Anywhere on your taskbar, simply right click and you want to click on your task manager. Now, once you're here, you want to look for startup apps. And within this list, you will find applications that are enabled, they will be under the status enabled. And this can be any application that you install in your computer. Most times, some of these applications will automatically be there for startup and you didn't even set this in the first place. So you want to ensure that you check this and disable any startup applications that you think that is not necessary, right? You can also see the impact as well. So if the impact is not measured or the impact is high, you want to take the action and ensure that you disable them. Even if the impact is low, if it's an application that you're not using and you don't need this application to be running on startup, you can disable it. So I'm going to use, for example, Grammarly startup here. You can see that Grammarly for the desktop is enabled. I don't need that. So I can right click on it and I can disable it. Right now, if you scroll down a bit more, you can see the upper browser and also the OneDrive it's also enabled. You can right click on it or you can simple click on it. And if you look towards the upper right, you can see disable, you can disable that as well. So you want to go through the list guys and disable all the applications that you don't want to have startup on your computer and just simply go ahead and hit disable for those applications. As you can see, I disable about five applications there that I don't need. And this is gonna drastically improve the startup time or the startup performance of my Windows PC, right? So very important stuff there. Now, the next basic thing that I want to share with you is for deleting applications that we no longer need. So click the Windows key on your keyboard and you can start typing install and you'll find install apps. This will take you into all of those install applications on your computer that you have. So you want to go through the list and find applications that are there that you don't need. So you need to go through the list and say, okay, I don't need this, I don't need that. So for example, I don't use Spotify in my computer so I can simply go ahead and uninstall that application. So go through the list and find whatever applications you can find on your computer that you don't need or you haven't used in a long time and know this application is something that you really think you don't need, you can go through the list and you can uninstall them. Because I'm telling you, there are many applications there that we add to our computer that we maybe use once or we test it and we no longer use it and we forgot to uninstall and we forget to uninstall those applications. So go ahead and find them and uninstall them from your computer so that you can free up space on your computer and also improve the performance of your computer as well. So keep that in mind, guys. You want to go ahead and do that as well. 
And no, lastly for this episode, that is the most basic thing that we should do is to update our Windows computer. So how do you do that? You simply want to right click on the Windows icon and you want to go to settings. This will take you into settings. And if you look towards the left hand side, towards the bottom, the last option is gonna say Windows update. You click on that, you will see if your computer is up to date or not. You can also do a check for updates and it will do a check for updates for you and you will see that. Now, one more thing that is very important for you to note that most people they will see that their computer is up to date but they don't actually check this and it's very important to check you want to check on the update history and from here you want to scroll down to where you'll find a section that says driver updates there are drivers that are actually downloaded from those updates and you don't actually know that you can update drivers so if those drivers are there you want to take the time to come here and check the update history and check to see driver updates and see if there's any drivers that you didn't update or there's something that you can update yourself there you will see what are the ones that were updated so you can easily go ahead and update those drivers and another way how you can find those optional updates is by simply clicking on the advanced option and from here you want to look towards a section that says optional updates now from here you'll be able to see quite a lot more updates that didn't get installed so you will see the number here towards the right hand side that says available and as you can see mine is zero so there is none but if you have optional updates that are there you will also see like driver updates other updates that are available and if those updates are available go ahead and update your computer as you can see i've checked for updates my computer is fully updated but this is something that is very important for you to do to ensure that you check for updates on your computer quite regularly and install all the necessary updates required to improve the performance of your Windows PC. Now guys, I want to take the time to say thank you very much for watching this. This is the first episode of Make Your Computer Faster. There will be quite a few more coming out where I'll be touching on various different topics and I really hope that you'll find value within this entire series and this will help you to make your computer run much faster and much smoother. Thank you guys for watching and I'm looking forward to see you next time.